The public lecture I attended was Sex, Flies, and Video Tape, Explaining Science in the Old and New Media. Um, this was a, an interesting public lecture because um, it was more about the uh, scientific journalism rather than an interesting scientific discovery. Um, the speaker's first point was that he made, or was that he was drawn to scientific journalism because of its um, less combative nature than regular journalism, where you know, as in scientific journalism, there you present the facts, whereas in political journalism, you may have two or three opposing sides basically just arguing with each other. <clears throat> um, you know, obviously, scientific journalism is very important because it's how you can pay, convey uh, important scientific discoveries and ideas to you know the general public who, who don't have the extensive background in the field of science. Uh, so scientists and journalists but they have to work very closely together because they want to convey, convey this important information correctly. Um, you know, an, an interesting distinction between the scientist and the journalist is that the scientist wants to maximize the detail and the journalist wants to maximize the story. So, you know, despite the fact that it is less combative than political journalism, there is, is still some combat behind uh, the, the general uh, uh, story writing process in scientific journalism. Um, and actually, one interesting thing that the speaker pointed out was that there's been a general shift from writing to video in scientific journalism. Um, and this is just because it makes it easier to understand uh, some really complex scientific ideas in a short amount of time. You know, uh, when you're reading about a, a really complex scientific discovery, especially if you don't have a, you know, uh, you know, bachelor's degree or PhD in, you know, physics or biology or whatever subject you're reading about, it can be very extensive to, you know, read along you know, several thousand word article about that subject that you, you know, hardly understand in the first place, but having a visual aid and someone explain it to you auditorily can make it much, uh, much, much more easy to understand. Um, and so that was actually one of the speakers focuses of his career was these little two minute um, creation uh, videos that he, uh, that, that he had begun to make on a variety of scientific topics. Um, so kind of to wrap it up, um, you know, the speaker said that effective journalism, you always have to put the audience first. Um, and you always want to make sure that you connect with the audience. So you make a simple, relatable metaphor. And then obviously to maximize the story, you want to amplify the cuteness or the violence factor in your story. Um, one interesting question that came up in the um, question and answer session was, you know, how uh, scientific journalists are able to convey these very complex scientific ideas in such a short amount of time and obviously uh, you know this was something that the speaker struggled with and something that all scientific journalists should struggle with um, but um, you know basically um, you know his conclusion was that you're not going to be able to convey every detail um, of science to the general public just because a they don't have the time to put in to learn everything you know there is to know and obviously like a PhD course you know getting your PhD is basically you know full-time job and you know, someone who already has a full-time job doesn't, you know, have have the time to to learn all those, um, you know, precise details. And so you try to make it as relatable and, uh, you know, as possible and as understandable as possible to a general person, which, you know, scientific journalists know basically as much about science as, you know, uh, someone who just works, you know, any ordinary job uh, that you might see, you know, that doesn't have a, uh, an extensive background in science. So... Um, you know, just make it as relatable as possible and, um, you know, try to be as accurate as possible so that people have the uh, most informed understanding of, uh, you know, each subject that they're, they're reading or, um, you know, watching a video about. Um, so that was basically his, uh, his public lecture.